The passport bros are actually broke. And I have proof, not because of what I said, because of what they said. And there have been clips going around right now that have said the passport bros are dusty and broke like this one here. Hey, what's up, y'all? So I really thought this BS with the passport bros was just going to go away, you know, just die down. But I was wrong. Every time I get on social media, it's one of them goofy ass passport bros getting caught up in a situation. Exhibit A. And you know, guys, they, they took everything. They took now look at his ass. He up here crying and talking about she took everything. What did you expect to happen? I guess you thought you was going to go over there and have you a great time. They was just going to lay down with you. You was going to get it and get gone, huh? No. Let me tell you all something. And see, for people that really don't understand that travel and go out of town, most of the locals, and especially the way that you present yourself, a lot of these passport bros going out of the country pretending to be something that they not. Those people that's, that's, that live where you all are traveling, they already know the game. It's all a finesse. Those women really don't like you for real. Oh, your tiquero papi and all that old shit they tell you. That shit is game. Any woman that's worth having, whether she's in America or out of the country or somewhere else, nine times out of ten, she got a man somewhere where she is. She may consider herself to be single because she's keeping her options open, but there's somebody around. And trust and believe that man is putting her up to doing a lot of the shit that she's doing. You see, a lot of the women in these foreign countries will steal from you, will rob you, and possibly kill you quicker than a lot of the men do. They more treacherous than the men. You understand? But you're all going out of the country thinking you about to come find some woman that's going to be submissive to your will. Nigga, you ain't even got it to get it like that. Trust and believe if she worth having, if she's any type of female that's worth having, she got somebody. Okay? And nine times out of ten, she'll rob and steal from you to go give it to him. Speaking of not having it to get it like that, Exhibit B. What's up, y'all? I'm here still in DR. I missed my flight last night. I just got off the phone with Spirit. I'm waiting on him to call me back. It's a hundred dollar reschedule fee. Uh Basically, I need to, I need a cash out, guys. I need a cash out. Now, look at his goof ass. So, I'm from Chicago. That's what we say. We call people like that goof ass people. Look at this goof ass. Now, he's begging folks on social media for $100. You don't even have enough money to pay for food, but you got your ass traveling out of the country. You probably couldn't even afford to go. I mean, prime example, you begging $400. You definitely didn't have enough money on you. That means you stay your ass home. See, it's, it's unfortunate that these so-called passport bros will put women down, American women, black women, and you know, being specific, talking about black women, you all can't even pay your bills. Your debt to income is high as fuck, but you want to go out of town and make it seem like you got it like that, but then you embarrass yourself by having to ask complete strangers for money. I had to travel for my business. I went to, to Vegas for the magic show, and then I went over to L.A. My flight got canceled from L.A. I had to pay $500 for a one-way ticket, but guess what? I had it. You never travel, you never go out of town and definitely not out of the country without having a reserve, without having money put up for incidentals because you never know what could happen. You know, I wasn't anticipating my flight getting canceled, but guess what? I wasn't going to be stuck at LAX. I got my ass on the flight and came back to Chicago. This man begging for a hundred fucking dollars, somebody he hungry. But these are the men that you all choose to repost their videos like they live in life. These men can't even take care of their financial responsibilities at the crib and out of town. He got to call Senorita to ask her for some money so he can get something to eat. I hope she didn't answer his call. And unfortunately, I have to break the bad news. Passport bros are out here dusty. I hate to say it. Y'all are mad, but it's just the truth. And I got two videos proving that the passport bros are indeed out here struggling. Let's check out this first clip of this guy stranded in Thailand. I mean, I'm not a passport bro because I've been traveling way since the 80s, but uh, I guess I'm one of these broken, dusty traveling men seeing the world. 
I need help, y'all. Get somebody help me, man. Get somebody help me, man. I mean, the accommodations, you know, y'all seen it. Dirt floors and straw bed. Somebody help me. Somebody seriously needs to help me. Somebody, anybody. Anybody, somebody. Like yeah. See how dusty he looks? Let's check out the second video. Hey, what's good team? Um, it's El Guapo here. Listen, y'all, they got me jacked up in this jump, man. If y'all could cash at me and help me out, I'd appreciate it. So I can't lie, man. I've been capping like all the rest of the passport bros, yo. Like, I ain't really got it like that, yo. And look at what they did to me here, man. I can't even stay in this room, yo. It's so bad, yo, because I ain't had no money. <sighs> I don't know what to do. Let me show you, let me show you what was going on, man. They got me all the way at the daggone hotel like I'm Rosa Parks or something, man. This joint is crazy. Crazy. Look at this, man. You know, what they say about the passport bros is true. We are super broke and super dusty. Look at this, man. How can they expect anybody to stay in something like this? Let me zoom out so y'all can actually see. Look at this jump, man. Like, you know, what these women have been saying about us, you know, like the king size bed in the middle of the room. Like, who does that, yo? Overlooking the ocean in the boats, man. That's some BS, man. With the TV on the wall. You know, they got the robes in the junk, man. I can only afford like a hundred dollar bottle of scotch, yo, the Glen Livet, the 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 White Oak Reserve, man. I don't I don't even know what to do, man. So ladies are right, man. We're broken dusty. And uh for real, you know, I'm not a scammer. I don't make $500,000 a year like everybody, you know, says you got to make. Look at this joint, man. Just ridiculous, yo. Look at that little outdoor couch, man. You know how they, they say our stuff is little. Look at that little outdoor space, man. Ridiculous, man. Look at this bathroom. This bathroom is terrible. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Look at that joint, man. I got to suck my stomach in so I don't look too fat for y'all. But yeah, look at this, man. The little dual sink and stuff like that, man. Look. You know. And you got a, a daggone, look, daggone sliding door. It says slide. This is so, I, I don't even understand, man. How am I supposed to live here, yo? No no Western woman won't want to be in nothing like this, man. I, I don't get it. You know, little bathroom with the, with the little hand bidet and stuff like that, man. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. And then look at this, man. Who, who the hell wants a shower overlooking the ocean? That's so stupid. So stupid. Nobody wants to shower overlooking the ocean. That's ridiculous. And then look, they, they had a nerve to put the daggone hot tub outside. Now, I know I'm ghetto. Like in my house, my hot tub is outside. But the hot tub should be inside. And look at how small this balcony is, man. Look at this jump. I mean, they only got me on the 20th floor and jump, man. I mean, I can only see all the way around to the city and everything. Look at this punk ass infinity pool they got down here. Don't nobody want to get in that pool. They're absolutely right. We're broken dusty. Absolutely right. Broken dusty, man. You know, if my wife was here, man, you know, she wouldn't even like this hot tub. We, would, we wouldn't get it in out here. So shout out to my buddies, Beautiful Eyes and Taylor Made Dreams. I'm just kidding. The Passport Bros are really not broke at all. Some may be broke, but it's just this whole belief that because you're a Passport Bro or you want to exercise your traveling option, you're destitute. When in fact, that tends to be not the case. Do you know how much it costs to go to a lot of these places, Thailand, um, Ethiopia? It's not it's not cheap, especially some of these guys are flying business class flights. You can't be a passport bro and visit multiple countries, even if you take an economy flight and be broke. You need to be a man of means, a man that's doing very well. 
a man that knows how to be disciplined, a man that can save his money, a man who has American Express, all kinds of points saved up, all of that to really be a pastor, bro. And you need to have a, a certain level of income to be able to achieve this lifestyle. Most guys can't be a passport, bro, because they're stuck on, you know, a certain job or committed to a certain industry. But the passport bros have figured out how to travel and still earn or still be remote. And that's something that most guys can't do. And the passport bros are not just guys who want to go and do, you know, the tourism things. Some of these guys are attorneys, some are doctors, some are engineers. Many guys are business owners. Some guys are retired and have pensions. The reality is, is that you got to demonize these group of guys because they don't want to deal with things in the United States. The way to demonize them is to say they're all broke. Nobody wants them. Things like that. When in fact, a lot of these guys have been married before. A lot of these guys have children. A lot of these guys uh, have had long term and meaningful relationships. You want to paint them with a broad brush. And that's fine, but we need to look at the facts. The facts are the passport bros are a group of men that typically are financially disciplined to keep taking these trips. Um, they are responsible with their money and they have to be somebody in society. They have access to credit and things like that. So how can these guys be broke when they're taking trips? They're saving up for their money. They're opening up certain levels of business overseas. I'm not saying all are perfect, but some are doing pretty good. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode here of Fair Use. We're out.